Howdy, 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 my beautiful darling of Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into Virgo, your weekly tarot reading for August. All right. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Virgo, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out. Of course, as well, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, Virgo, and I really appreciate those who take that extra step to support me. Now, today, Virgo, we're going to get into three rows for you. Your first row, we're going to be getting uh, uh, talking about the person that is currently on your mind right now, darling. All right. To this card want to come out with this row as well all right so the first row yeah today we're going to be talking about the person on your mind virgo your second row we're going to be talking about what you need to hear at this time all right what you need to hear today and then in your third row virgo we're going to be talking about just your general predictions today if you continue down the same path that you have been going on virgo which by the way spoiler alert darling we'll get into this later but it's, like, it's looking really really fabulous here for your predictions uh virgo all right starting out your energy this week though darling we have the five of cups coming in here all right and so right off the bat uh virgo again like um i'm gonna keep on hinting at this last through your predictions row here but what i want to be telling you guys here is just like things are about to be getting really insane for you here like it's almost like this sense of where it's just like i don't know i'm getting like a little bit giddy here um for you guys because uh virgo i feel like y'all are about to be making like either like a major breakthrough or it's like you're receiving like bad news and initially hold on now virgo right you're receiving bad news initially but then it's like shortly after you get something you get you receive like really insane news that really makes everything else seem extremely irrelevant to you in your life here all right and so what i want to be saying for you virgo is that i feel like you're going to be starting to get this impression all right to this week you're starting to get some clarity here all right but in the coming days for you virgo holy crap i will just easily say for you darling virgo that august is going to be a month that you're going to remember like this reading in specific is going to be something for y'all to be remembering for sure for sure so we're going to be putting this five of cups the back of the deck energy right here for you virgo all right because this card is going to be influencing all three rows darling of course and we're going to be getting into your rows now starting today with the person that's on your mind right now virgo of course right and right now you have here the five of pentacles here the emperor the devil the strength card here virgo Ooh, darling <laughs> uh virgo for you i really want to be applauding you here because i feel like for you virgo you've woken up and realized someone is like mm, girl <laughs> you've woken up and realized that someone is like a devil uh in your life uh here virgo i feel like you're realizing someone's true intentions here you i feel like you're really realizing or accepting that there's just a situation here that's like potentially like really manipulative i hear all right five of pentacles energy whatever the case is it's just the sense of where you deserve better darling all right virgo full disclosure i just feel like you deserve 110 uh 10 better because i see this five of pentacles here where it's just like it's like whoever this is whoever you are associated eating with virgo it's not i say you deserve better because i feel like you're just so out of this person's league here because it's having you feel down about yourself and forgetting who you are all right i feel like for some reason as well where it's just like it's like y'all i'm getting like shown the scenario virgo where it's like y'all go hiking and you're just like i mean you as your usual self virgo you're just like hey let's like plan this out let's you know you, let's have a plan essentially and then this person here is just like oh no like i'll i'll handle it there all right and then i hear it like then it's just like you end up being lost and you're just like what where did you get me into right i think it's kind of like a reference to like a blair witch project right I don't know i haven't really i watched it at one point but then it's just i didn't really get it it was kind of weird but i think that's kind of like the blair witch project where it's just like someone guides you spoiler darling it's been so many years now at this point it's a spoiler for you honey girl um <laughs> uh but yeah it's like that sense of where you listen to somebody else because you're just like all right i'm gonna trust you all right maybe even how they presented themselves as initially virgo all right they presented themselves as this like the super responsible someone that can take control what have you and you're just like or maybe they're just super loud and then instead of arguing with them virgo you're just like all right like let's see and then it's like they just by association you just get caught up into something that's just like not lovely 
all right and so the reason why i want to applaud you virgo is that i feel like you guys are waking up to this and starting to transition away from that because I, again i really do feel like it's like this uh, the by association with this person's energy here it's just doing yourself your being a disservice all right i just i mean essentially darling i'm saying you just deserve better virgo all right so let's start clarifying this for you all right what's what's to be coming because i don't want to even delve into this energy anymore i feel like and i don't feel like most of you virgos want to either it's just like all right we you know f that person right you know screw off so let's see what happens after for you just socially because i'm just curious all right two of cups coming in here all right so you definitely would be fighting like a replacement. I don't feel it. I mean, this is just intuitive, darling, right? So there's no tarot cards that's saying this right now. So it could be wrong. Intuitively, though, Virgo, I'm going to be honest. I feel like this comes in at a little bit of a later point in time. I don't feel like this comes in so immediately because sometimes tarot can come off as where she's like, okay, immediately after because we're clarifying the row. But I don't feel like it's immediate. Six of Wands. All right. This is my favorite card in the Minor Arcana. Virgo, this is the card of victory. This is the card of people noticing you here. All right. As well as the king of wands stepping in here. All right. So and then back of the deck energy, the three of cups, Virgo. So essentially here by you finally acknowledging a devil for what it was virgo all right if you're having anxiety that you couldn't that you wouldn't be able to find better or if you're having anxiety that maybe you're just over reading the situation what have you your future after the fact again five of cups energy here virgo all right it's that initial disappointment but it's like your future after the fact virgo becomes so much better because i feel like you attract somebody you know, and let's give this person benefit of the doubt, all right? You know, I know sometimes when it comes to tarot readings, we just talk about all the cons, right? I feel like with this person, you trusted them on some level because, yeah, maybe they're responsible, all right? Maybe on some level, to the best of their ability, they try to be an adult and handle the situation. But, girl, what is this? I think I got, like, a mark on myself from my pen. But, uh, Virgo, I feel like this person just hasn't matured quick enough for you and your lifestyle and like what it is that you want to do in this time frame here and so i feel like for you virgo you attract someone just of like a much more elevated stature all right someone that actually is like a lot more of a go-getter i hear like this sense virgo of where one of your complaints or frustrations when it comes to the other person is like maybe they have like an addiction problem of some sorts gaming smoking you know, like something, uh, Virgo, that I feel like that's a core part of the problem that they don't want to work on. And I feel like if you were to transition on from that connection, because again, I ain't telling you what to do, Virgo. You're a grown adult. All right. You know this person better than I do, obviously. So it's up to you. It's your life, of course. But if you're having anxiety and only choosing to settle with this energy over here, hoping that they eventually at some point work on their habits or work on themselves, Virgo, I'm not saying that they eventually won't work on themselves. I'm just saying that you could attract someone so much better, <laughs> essentially here. I feel like it's always important to know that you have options, all right? So Virgo, that's what I get for you when it comes to the person on your mind right now. All right. And now let's get into uh, what you need to hear today, Virgo. What do you need to hear right now? All cups energy, by the way, six page as well as 10 of cups coming in. And then again, let's acknowledge Virgo, that five of cups energy. All right, darling. So a lot of emotions here. All right. The emotions for you are just going to be running high, Virgo. I do want to acknowledge that. I do want to also call some you out virgo all right i'm your best friend through the screen and i'm going to be honest with you when no one else will be because i don't care about pissing you off or making you uncomfortable all right because i know at the end of the at the end of the day you know i care darling okay so with this six of cups here all right some of you guys might be getting a little bit too sentimental with situations all right because uh, you've had them in your life for a long time you might be resisting that page energy that new energy this new people trying to come into your life new opportunities coming into your life Life, Virgo. All right. I see this sense of y'all being, being a little bit too sentimental. All right. 
and being like oh i don't want to move on from this person like i just show like they're like a you know this easily could be like a situation where it's just like someone in your life that you introduced your family to perhaps or your friend group to you just talked about them and then by realizing you're like oh like i want to disconnect from them have my own people you might be feeling bad and be like no i don't want to break that up i don't want to be the reason right that's what i hear from many of you virgos you don't want to be the reason and i feel like for you virgo that's going to be your biggest downfall darling all right because of that sense of being sentimental all right not a bad thing that you are sentimental i mean really just highlights how i mean kind of a person you really are virgo even though i feel like virgos are so misunderstood because they can come off as critical but it's really just because they want the best for for other people for themselves like they just are able to see the best in situations and like what could be so they're not going to sugarcoat things and you know and so i feel like people mistake that for virgo and being like egotistical or full of themselves when in reality it's just like no this is good this is okay but it could be better all right and i feel like that's like the main theme for you here is where it's just like your current situation with the frustrations what have you if you as long as you just work through the pain virgo things will be so beautiful for you five of swords coming in here working through the pain i feel like it is inevitable here for you virgo to just upset some people all right to end up like hurting some people here but it's for your best interest and i don't feel like you're wanting to do this of course right like ideally like you would want to just like it's i feel like for some of you virgos you want to just treat your life like a video game and just like pick yourself up and plop yourself into a different situation or just hit the reset button or create like a new game profile and just live a different life here all right because i feel like for some of you uh, virgos you're just really extremely underwhelmed by a situation in your life and it's like you don't want to you don't want to bring forth any hurts to anybody any pain any disruption like you don't want to disrupt anything but you're just like mm, i'm not really feeling this i want to just go out and do my own thing right it's like you committed to doing a road trip with somebody virgo and then it's after the fact that um that road trip uh like after you get to the destination with that road trip with all those people you're just like mm, can i actually just go off and do my own thing here y'all still enjoy the road trip but i'm gonna go do my own other thing here seven of wands here with the ten of cups really amplifying this message here and then the knave of pentacles coming in the back of the deck page of pentacles of course right um ultimately here for you virgo all right you are going to have like that family life i don't know where why i need to say this but for some of you virgos you need to be affirmed in the sense of that if you were to transition from something right now that you still will have like your loved ones you still will have your circle even with all the disruption that will happen even with all the arguments and fighting by the end of it virgo you will be completely fulfilled all right by the end of it ten of cups here virgo that's why i came out i mean i'm trying to hold it proper <laughs> that's why it came out twice for you virgo right the ten of cups here and again i want to remind you it only happens through the initial disappointment all right but you end up with like you're fr so frustrated because you had a few cups spill over the disappointments but then you end up with more than what you even started with because you decided to make yourself initially uncomfortable virgo that's the key component that's why i'm being so honest with you virgos in that like i feel like what you need to hear today is knowing that everything's gonna work out all right even if people that you end up hurting or disappointing or what have you virgo by the end of it you're gonna at the very least be happy and for them they'll figure themselves out all right they'll figure it out that's just life virgo at the end of the day like everyone has to experience some type of disappointment and just what it's just life it's just life all right so for you virgo lost in space needing direction all right number nine is your number for this week virgo so be sure to look that up in numerology at a later point in time needing direction i feel like you guys are feeling lost at this time virgo but i don't i want to challenge that once again i guess i'm feeling so ready to just challenge y'all virgo but i want to challenge you and say that i don't know if you need direction i just feel as if because I feel like you know what you need to do. You're just searching for any other way possible to do it. But you know what you need to do, darling. You just got to commit, commit. All right, last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen, which I feel like is your truth. Virgo, excuse me if I sound weird. I have a cough coming in. <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Um, revealing what needs to be seen here. And I feel like it's your truth. I feel like it's your truth in whatever way that looks like for you, Virgo. 
And then you have the polar bear card. Ugh, darling, Sp stand up for yourself, Virgo, and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. Speaking your truth, all right, without the expectation of a certain type of reaction or result, Virgo. Stop thinking about what will happen and just be very present. All right. This is literally the embodiment of what I've been saying this entire time, Virgo. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that, darling? All right. So these Oracle cards are really making sure that they prove to you that I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> all right virgo so let's get into your predictions for today all right see what's going to be happening for you and this is my favorite this is what i was really excited for you uh for virgo all right ten of swords star energy as well as the sun all right you got two really insanely positive cards here all right the sun card is the best card in the tarot deck and then arguably the star card would be the second coming in second uh just under the sun and then this ten of swords here you know and then this ten of swords in specific virgo this ten of swords talks about the you know, tens representing closures to cycles. Ten, this ten of swords talks about like the ending of a really painful storyline of a painful situation here. The sun is coming up again. All right. The sun is coming up. The happiness. All right. Thing, finally feeling like uh, you can breathe again. Feeling as if like the sun touching your skin after a long period of just depression. All right. And finally getting closer to your goals. I'm going to be honest uh, here, Virgo. I see if you were to lean deeper into acknowledging this devil that we've been talking about here, making the hard decisions, all right? It ain't going to be easy, all right? And that's, I hope this reading really expresses that as well. It's not going to be easy. The journey ahead is not going to be easy, Virgo. But what this reading can express is that it's going to be worth it in the end. And you're going to have everything and then some of what you're wanting from your life in general, because I feel like this is all encompassing, but it's have to, it starts with speaking your truth. So I love you so much, Virgo. Hopefully this reading helped you out. Let me know in the comments below. Some you might need to watch this back a few times because there's just a lot to unpack with this here, Virgo. This is really, this is a really powerful reading, honestly, here. Like, again, like, I'm just like, I want to just like shiver just like a little bit because it's just like more so like I'm excited for like how like I'm just like I'm putting myself in your energy right now Virgo and I just see such a in, like big decisions happening for you but I feel it's so worth it so I love you so much Virgo if you want to book a reading with me simply welcome dot com next to my social media tiktok instagram and facebook all of them just being simply Velka. same as here darling I love you so much Virgo and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling